Wow, I really don't know why I decided to start the video like this. In retrospect, this might not have been the greatest idea. Come on now, everybody loved that song back in the day. <laughs> And for me, I, I still love it. Um, and for those of you old enough to not know what that song is, I can't really say whether that's not a bad thing. Ah, what happened to the lights? Okay, we're back. Um, quite clearly, obviously, the only two things that are for certain today with me is that, A, my hair is getting a little bit longer. Uh, it looks still kind of bad in the front, but um, but it's getting there. It's getting there. Um, <laughs> and for two, I'm quite clearly not being very articulate today, if that last clip made any sense at all. That last part didn't really make much sense either. Um, okay, so, but what's been going on with me? I've basically been spending my past couple of weeks busting my butt trying to get uh, my convo credits taken care of and everything, and working on a mind-bogglingly difficult paper, not because it was really long, but because it was on this book, The Bluest Eye, which was a good book, good book for those who've read it, but I, it was impossibly hard to write a paper for. I, I just had the worst writer's block ever. <laughs> yeah. Um, so anyways, but uh, things have been going good. Now, I've only got like... I think it's like 12 more days until I'm home. Um, ugh. I get to see my girlfriend again. I get to be with my family. I'm sorry I won't have a lot of time to see some of you guys, uh, my friends. Um, I won't have a lot of time. I'm only here for like four days. Um, but good news is for all you band people, uh, I am having a sweet action band party over the Christmas break. My parents have approved it. Um, so we're going to be... Raising the Roof and whatever 80s, other 90s, like, um, old school sayings that, you know, our generation has, you know what I'm saying, uh, Raising the Roof, Bringing Down the House, um, Getting the Potty Started, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna say. But the fact of the matter is, I'm very excited to get home. Uh, anyways, I, I had something to talk to you guys today about really fast, um, I don't know, I mean, I, I, I watch, uh, SXE Phil on YouTube, and uh, he's had in the past couple episodes of his about uh, former ex uh, Miss California from last year, uh, Carrie Prejean, and I I've, I didn't know a lot about the situation, but after he said some stuff, uh, I went and looked up some more, and I followed some of his links uh, to like one of the most recent stories about her, and I mean I was I've just been appalled. Um, and, I mean, some of the things that they said that have come out about this whole Miss America, Miss State beauty pageant thing have, I mean, come out through this. And, I mean, there's really no other way to define this. I mean, I don't, I don't like to swear, but, I mean, this girl was a bitch. And, I mean, she really was. And <laughs> this disgusted me. And I, I just wanted to know what you guys think about... Uh, the Miss America thing as it is, I mean, I think it's disgusting, and I think it demeans women, and I, I think, they just think it's terrible, the whole concept of it, um, and of course, I mean, it's, it's American, I mean, that's all I can say about it, <laughs> it's demeaning, it's disgusting, it's American, <laughs> what else could it be, <laughs> but, um, let me know what you think about that in the comments, I, I don't know, I, I've just been really disgusted by that. But anyway, what do I know? I mean, that was just, that was my political plug. Um, anyways, yeah, no, I'm not gay. <laughs> um, but yeah, just let me know what you think about that. I miss you guys. I'm going to be home in a week and a half. I'm so excited to be back in Oregon. Um, and I love you all. So peace out.